There's uh, no real reason to be afraid to let other people know that you're an atheist. One of the fears that people have uh, in coming out, so to speak, is that uh, of the confrontation that occurs, the attacks. Uh, you know, we are basically a despised minority. Um, we, we are subject to, uh, to criticism, rejection, and uh, an outright attack. But don't worry about it, uh, because you really don't have anything to defend. Um, if you're like me and you basically look out at the wide expanse of the universe and see no evidence for uh, any creator or 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 any uh, genius or uh, or designer behind the scenes, uh, then what the proposition that you're basically making is that uh, you look, you see, and you can't make any conclusion. Uh, there's nothing to defend in that. Uh, the, Contrast that with those who look and see and come up with uh, definite ideas about what's out there. Those are the folks that need to have have a, a pretty good argument, a pretty bulletproof uh, uh, explanation for what they see or for why the, they come up with the ideas that they come up with. So when when you're when you're challenged uh, as an atheist and you're you're asked to say uh, why do you believe the way that you do, uh, simply tell them that uh, you find uh, if uh, if if you think like I do that you simply find uh, no compelling evidence that um, there's anything out there uh, driving this whole system, uh, but. Tell them that you remain open to the possibility that that may be the case, that you have criteria that you use in evaluating the world and, uh, and in accepting uh, information as either factual or not. Um, and then if you're interested, ask them to explain, uh, if they can explain why they believe that the way that they do. Basically, we are the ones that should be asking them for an explanation of why they think the way they do. We're not the ones that need to provide an explanation because our proposition is simply that we do not know. And uh, not knowing is, means that we're continuing the quest to find out. So don't worry about it. And don't uh, don't believe that your uh, that it's your job to defend uh, all and every, every and, and, and any possible tenant uh, that is sometimes used as a foundation for the for the belief, for the lack of belief. Um, for example, uh, one of the things that qu uh, frequently happens is that atheists are are asked to explain things like evolution um, and don't worry about it I mean for many unless evolution is the key element the key reason that you're on you're a, a uh, the theory of evolution the theory of natural selection um, unless that that is the key foundation stone upon which uh, your lack of belief lies then then you do need to defend it. But if you're like me, and evolution is 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 I, something I believe, but it is not the reason that I'm an atheist. I'm not an atheist because I because because I think that uh, uh, life uh, a moderate moder is modified over time based on the uh, the pressures of selection. Um, that's not the reason. So if it, when if I have some people challenge me on evolution, I'm willing to talk to them about evolution if they want to on its own merit, but not as as a defense for my atheism. I I if they if they bring that up, I'll simply tell them that uh, evolution doesn't have anything or very little to do with uh, my beliefs in atheism. Really, it has nothing to do with my belief as an atheist. If evolution was uh, was disproved tomorrow, I would still be an atheist, um, because really, it's 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 more uh, for me. And this is more of my own personal testament <laughs> than anything else. For me, my atheism is 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 more akin to faith. Uh, it's, it's, it's and I know that sounds strange. It sounds it sounds upended. It sounds ridiculous in some ways. But it's it's a deep sense that I have. Maybe it comes from uh, from so much time spent in wild places alone, and uh, and hearing, uh, listening, you know, putting my ear to the to the to the door to speak of uh, of the void of the of the emptiness out there, and hearing absolutely nothing back there perceiving nothing back there beyond the what I what I call the howling wild and I've talked about that in other in other videos that howling wild that emptiness that uh, that, uh, that 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 um, amazing uh, limitless abyss beyond I know I'm starting to use words that sound more akin to poetry than anything else and that's where that's for me that's that's where my atheism that's why I say it's more akin to faith my my atheism is more of more of a uh, a sensation that I have from uh, from having listened in earnest to the uh, to the to the sounds of the universe and to hear nothing but uh, basically chaos in the background and a and an, an, an astonishing um, appearance of uh, of order that there really is just a higher level of that chaos. I, you see, so for me, I don't have to explain evolution. I simply have to say, I believe that there is nothing 
out there that's running the whole thing. Whoo! Isn't that curious how faith can uh, can be the uh, cornerstone of uh, of disbelief? So back on my main point, if you're an atheist like me and you're afraid of of coming out and talking about this with others, do know that you will be ostracized. That's a fact. There are, especially if you live in the Western world, not not so here in Japan. This is a country of atheists, so it's a great place for atheists because nobody really believes anyway. They just, for the most part, go through the motions. I mean, some people do believe, but for the most part, they just go through the motions. Most people they'll live their lives without any thought of of, of God or very little. Um, but if you're in many parts of the world where that's not the case, um, then you will be you will be shunned and you will be criticized and you will be ostracized. But don't worry, it's not your job. It's not your job to defend your disbelief. It's uh, it's in fact it's 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 quite the opposite. It's the, it's the job of the duty of those who uh, believe with such earnestness and such such strength and uh, such uh, such 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 um uh, they're just just energy. They're the ones that uh, need to uh, explain their uh, sometimes preposterous, absurd claims. I don't know where they come up with these things. Sometimes it's astonishing. If you and if you if you really bear it down to uh, bare facts, it, they they don't seem to. Uh, they don't seem to have um, much of an explanation, and that's why they'll often attack you instead. So don't worry. Come on out. And you're not alone. I'll be out there. There's others out there. Check out on the internet. Check out on the internet. Just do a YouTube search for uh, atheism. You're going to find an astonishing community of very interesting people who are basically uh, like-minded like you. Don't be afraid. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign up for now and go make breakfast for my family. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.